Hey guys, and welcome to Fly Maniacs. I'm Daniel Bergman. I'm Kato Vivoli Monsen. And what are we gonna do today? We're gonna do some fun buzzer fishing for wild brown trout. Cool. And then we're in Norway? Yeah, Western Norway. Yeah. Uh, I should say welcome or welcome back. Thank you. It's been like a year since the last time. Year since the last time, and uh, you know what this lake has to offer. Yeah, a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> a lot of mosquitoes. Yeah, and not the biting kind, the one we're gonna fish with. Yeah, so yeah. Um, it's only a week since uh, the ice disappeared. Yeah. So it's still early season, but yeah. uh, hopefully we'll get some good buzzer fishing and also some cool takes on dry fly. Hopefully. Yeah. It's gonna be super, super fun. Yeah. Let's go out and fish. Let's do it. Bye us. <laughs> Okay, so I have a loop here. What am I gonna do now, master? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna tie the regular buster setup on floating line yeah. uh, for three busters on. And okay. um, the first thing first is almost a rod length of 1x. Okay. So you start with about eight feet of uh, 1x. Okay. And then we taper it with 3x and then 4x. Okay. Yeah. But you can decide if you want one meter or 110 or 120 between each fly. It depends what you prefer. I and would how probably easy go it's... for the shorter, yeah. uh, for the ease of casting. Yeah, it's easier with a little shorter. Yeah. But my preparation is between 120 to 140 between each fly. Yeah, cool. Um, I'm gonna use one of these glass buzzers because it sinks much faster than the other ones. So this one is actually gonna fish furthest down, maybe like two meters, depending on how long leader you have. And then you have the dial buck, like 120 up, and then the cruncher uh, on top, fishing yeah, closer to the surface. It's probably not that much what, what they're feeding on, but what depth they're feeding on. We're about to start. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna do buzzer fishing. Yeah. But what the hell is buzzer fishing? You know, it's uh, like just when the ice have uh, left the water, yeah. uh, larvas or pupas buzzers are hatching all over the place, uh, yeah. and like big mosquitoes are coming out yeah. from the water. Mosquito and it's means. yeah. Yeah the big fish are eating larvas or pupas mm. and then coming up uh, in the surface in the evening yeah. to eat the uh, mosquitoes the yeah. yeah the adults on the surface yeah uh, it's it's like a frenzy season yeah. almost like uh, vulgata uh, but this is like the beginning of dry fly season yeah and so after you come out of hibernation yeah. uh, you get this yeah which is really nice and they start feeding like crazy yeah. in vague we made uh, two episodes of uh, buzzer fishing yeah and uh, we also have some courses on buzzer fishing yeah i did that last uh, year yeah it's a long time ago so i can't remember it all i should <laughs> probably do it again but yeah that was really good really but, good but more and more people have opened their eyes for this type of fishing and yeah. i understand why because it's amazing it's really fun yeah it's, uh, it's definitely like a new cool tool in the toolbox yeah love it okay let's go find some fish yeah <laughs> crazy amounts of uh, shells here yeah everywhere really? these shells got me excited <laughs> that's strange but fun look <laughs> they're popping up from the water everywhere plop 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 now the wind stops yeah I think we're quite sheltered here. Yeah. It's quite nice. So maybe we start like... Fishing 50 towards the bank? Yeah, 50 meters up and fishing towards the bank all the way down and in the middle here. Because yeah. this is the most shallow part of the lake. Yeah, okay. It's then it should be also the warmest part. Yeah, That's exactly. That's why, why we have the hatches. Yep. Yeah.
Return of the Killer Crows. <laughs> we better watch out. They're coming after us. The crows and the frogs. Yeah. Yeah, last year we had crazy amounts of frog. Yeah. <laughs> Erland told me a sick story uh, the other day. Okay. He said that he saw a frog rising. It was a frog standing on a trout's head there. So we just saw the frog coming out of the water on top of the trout's head. What? <laughs> That's sick. Then there's many trout in the water. I was in the bottom. Oh, okay. So it's, yeah, it's maximum two meters. Yeah. And now I'm in the top of a tree. <laughs> High and lows. High and lows. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. Takes are so cool. Oh, it looks like a nice fish. Uh, it seems to be seems to be quite nice. Yeah. Ah. It's going right in front of my feet, which is disturbing. It's not the biggest in the lake, but still. Oops, that's clumsy. Ah, <laughs> bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Enough. On the top dropper as well. Yeah, on the top dropper. So it was actually feeding high. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay, 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 okay. Enough, 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 enough. Come on. Yay. Yay. Great. Awesome. So much fun. Okay, okay, okay. What a start. <laughs> That's awesome. Quite amazing. Just saw, a, saw like a small uh, twitch in the line and then boom! <laughs> <laughs> Such an amazing thing. Yeah. Uh, the best of strikes are amazing. Yeah. yeah. So hard. And what a great start to the day. Okay, let's get this fatty back into the feeding frenzy he was on. Let's get bigger. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank oh. you. <laughs> what a start. Great work, man. Great so much work. fun. So much fun. Uh, Ooh. Now this can be addictive. <laughs> like, boom. Like a salmon take almost when you first see the switch in the line and yeah. boom <laughs> amazing just amazing okay <laughs> oh, yeah. ah. here comes the frogs <laughs> that's why <laughs> oh. 
Yes. Huh. Thank you. <laughs> the whole stop on the lake. Easy <laughs> peasy. So one thing I've sort of learned the hard way is that um, when you're fishing like this, when you have a straight line rig with, with the three flies on the leader, um, you need to sort of be a little bit careful with, with uh, how, how you behave with the rod and line. Because if you do something uh, sudden, not thought through, like try to cast to a fish that's rising over there. Uh, it's quite easy to get tangled. Uh, so try to keep like, don't try to lift too much line, uh, rather strip it in and then do the cast instead and try to keep as open loops as possible. Um, and when you're sort of turning around try to sweep out with the rod so the, the the flies don't hook up to each other but then of course you don't have to use three flies you can use two or even one uh, one fly rarely tangles two flies yeah more seldom tangles but if you just think of taking it a little bit easy with the with the casting and how you behave uh, it's usually not a problem even with, with these long leaders and three flies. Fishing static and keeping the contact, it's important to have a good line for it. Uh, with a good line, I mean a line with uh, less memory and low stretch. With the low stretch, it means that you can actually feel if the something is biting on pretty fast. As you can see, I hold my rod 15, 20 centimeter above the water. Uh, the reason why is um, it's very easy to see if you actually fish static or not, if you're holding it up, because then you can see if you have like fully contact and not fishing too fast. If you see your line like getting pulled like this, then you fish the flies too fast. And sometimes I do like a long pull just to make uh, the flies go higher up in the surface, like they're ready for hatching. And sometimes the fish get really intrigued by that. And after that, I just keep fishing static and just holding the contact. I always finish it with a hang. So when the line are almost pulled in, I just lift the rod slowly and just twist it up. Then the bustles will rise and sometimes the, actually, the fish will actually take in the hang when the, the bustles are rising. It's almost the same as the pull. And then start a new cast. Yeah. Oh. Ah. It's a nice one. It took the point fly. Oh. His head is shaking so much. Oh. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's actually on the dial bus. Cool, man. Mm. <laughs> on the hang, Donny. Ah, cool. 
just all the way static and then I just lifted the fly on the hang. Yeah. Crazy. So much fun. Ooh. Excellent. <laughs> it's beautiful, man. Yeah, it's a great fish. Ooh. Whoa, he's so fat. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> and slippery also. Ah, typical fish. Let's see. It's a beautiful fish, man. If you can get a hold of him. Yeah, I think so. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it's not that long, but it's really fast. Well conditioned. Now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Oh, what a day. That's what we like. Yep. That's awesome. I was facing uh, with the wind, yeah. casting and just paddling to keep contact. Yeah. And that was quite hard. Yeah, it was really hard. Yeah. And I'm fishing really, really slow. Yeah. Over the place we saw the rise earlier. Yeah and probably five meters from me and yeah. I, I fished quite deep but then I, I did a hang and when I did that and it just boom it got triggered when you lifted it yeah it's been probably watching for a while and then what? yeah so cool awesome <clears throat> let's get lunch Yeah, we had a late uh, lunch, sort of. Earlier today, it we fished uh, straight line nymphing yeah. with a six weighted rod. Yeah. And uh, usually in the evening, the fish comes higher up in the surface and we probably will see some rises. Yeah. So now we've made a setup with our five weighted rod. Mm. And uh, I use the Feel 115 line and you have the X100. Yeah. Instead of three flies, we also go Two flies. Two flies instead. I think it's a good idea to uh, keep going with the setup we used earlier today when we caught those two fish. Yeah. Going with the still maniac and three flies. Yeah. And fish a little bit deeper. Mm. Now when the sun are here and when we see the fish start to rise, then we switch. Yeah. 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 Might even change to sinking lines here. Yeah. Um, yeah. For the last like one and a half, two hours before the sun settles. No, doesn't seem to be any action on the floating line. So what I'm gonna do now is to change to a sink three instead. Um, and that's a quite a nice thing with having a long leader like this. You just pull it in so you get, get to the loop. Cut off the leader, and then I have a reel here with with a sink three line. And just change that. Just gotta be careful so you don't drop anything in the water. And I tie the leader onto the new line. And it's the Steel Maniac uh, Sink 3. So the, it's a full sinker. And there, I have actually change the, the line well, that's quite fast we'll see if this helps to dig deep when the lamp is high
And we have some shells. There has been some hatching during the day. It's insane. Yeah, now we're just hoping for the evening rise. It's not impossible that they are full, actually, but hopefully some, some still want to eat. Saw a couple of rising fish over here, so let's go and catch them. Yeah, you know, we caught two over kilo. That's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Uh, now it's so dark that we have to call it a day. <laughs> yeah, our cameraman is whining a little bit. It's getting yeah. too dark, but it's been awesome. It has <sighs> really been. See you later, guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs>